You said shitloads of cones on the road. I think that's near enough cone hotline. You'll get a point. No points for you, Jonathan Joe. Finally, we saw the children of Goldsmiths Community Hall performing an unusual school play. What event were they acting out? It was hard not to get this one. It's Dolly the Sheep being cloned, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a huge and story of the Cloning was a big story back then, which was, and it was in the 90s it first took hold, and that's when Rod Stewart learned that he could just clone his previous wives and keep marrying the new version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, that's the positive side of cloning. The negative effects, Jedwood. <laughs> But I, I thought it was a bit weird to clone a sheep because they all look the same anyway. So you could have like, got one from the field and gone, look, they're the same. I think, I think that was their plan B, had things not gone brilliantly. They went, <laughs> Did you hear this, Lee? Do you remember oh, Dolly the sheep? Uh, I remember, I went out with her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Bob, uh, Richard. Yeah, yeah, we got Dolly the sheep. Yeah. That's right, this is a new era of fact. <laughs> fact four. The only actual difference between <laughs> between the, the dolly and the and the sheep was do, the original dolly was a, from Northumberland, yeah, and it used to so it was it used to go bah, and like the um, it was cloned in Sheffield, so it was bah. <laughs> 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 well, that is true. Animals no, do have regional accents. Yeah, they do. That is true. They have Dogs regional have accents. accents. They do. They that's, seriously that's, do. Surely that's bullshit. No. <laughs> you, you tell you tell that to a Liverpudlian duck on your own head, do you? Good year. No, Michael, you had a good year, didn't you? You wrote your, your autobiography. What's it about? <laughs> I did, I wrote it. Did you make anything up? Or was it all true? Well, I didn't... I know this is hard to believe. I didn't um, get a lot of women before my wife. And uh, so I, I, I... It looked so bad. It basically looked like I'd only ever slept with my wife. So I added some pretend women in. <laughs> And they didn't exist, and my wife won't let it go. <laughs> Every night she keeps saying to me, "Who were they?" And I'm like, "Darling, I made them up because I didn't sleep with enough girls." And she she comes to it every day. Was it Janet? So I don't know who <laughs> Janet is. <laughs> so I got in trouble for sleeping you with fictional. You don't make up women's names, don't you? Janet. Know, to be honest with you, as soon as I said so Janet, you want Benice Rio. <laughs> Alan, have you had much experience in lying about sleeping with women? No, but uh, I can have a go. <laughs> Rio and Benice. Rio and Benice. It must, be, it must be a, horrible for your ego when people have to trick other people into watching your video. <laughs> All the rules, and so do I. That's a guilty thing. <laughs> no! No! It was can like you do was Come here. on, Michael, can you do yeah, Rick Astley? Never gonna give, never gonna give. Please don't buy You're like a chameleon. <laughs> you know the rules. You have my hair. hair. You do. What? You have his hair. You, you have, have Rick my hair. Astley hair. Fuck you, O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> Astley, you nicked my hair. Do that, do that thing, with his, do that head thing that you see. Never gonna keep, never gonna keep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the rules. <laughs> okay. So the question is... What separates Charlie Sheen? You, now, I think the question was, no. can you name um, one attribute that separates Charlie Sheen from us mere mortals, right? Yes. So I could correctly answer no and get the point. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, you're applauding someone being very weaselly. <laughs> yes, you, yes, you could, but it's not in the spirit of this game. All right. <laughs> and we said he can make a hamburger shape out of his willy. Ooh! <laughs> because if you... You know, like, when I was playing with yours and I sort of folded it? <laughs> and then yeah. we pretended it was a hamburger and yes. I just... Oh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I don't recall... <laughs> Maybe I... it was a dream. My, my daughter... David's her favourite author, and now I've got a show of that because she wants to see me on TV. <laughs> doing Is that it thing? inconsistent with writing children's books? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you can do that. You can make all kinds of amazing shapes. I mean, it's hard with yours because it's tiny, but... <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a, a normal size one, you can make lots of things, hamburgers, etc. Cocktail burger. <laughs> <laughs> So are we talking about Have ways you can mutilate your penis? <laughs> <laughs> it's not penis mutilation, it seems to be penis manipulation. Yes, it's, penis, right. it's yeah, puppetry yeah, of the penis. Puppetry, yeah. puppetry, puppetry okay. of the penis. Okay. Right. okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a very special treat for you now. Dragon's Den was one of the biggest shows of the noughties. Please welcome its brightest star, Duncan Bannatyne. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Bannatine there, one of the the best dragon, clearly the best dragon. Absolutely, yes, thank you. Does anyone want to pitch any ideas? Anyone got any ideas for the for the den? You know, when you're in your car, you know, you've got your airbag. We're yeah. putting makeup inside it. So if you do have a crash. <laughs> 
<laughs> when the police come or the ambulance, you do look a bit near the mark. Do you know what I mean? Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> An invention, you probably feel this, you're from Clybank as well. I am, Kevin, yes. From the same area. And you're, you've got a Scottish accent. Maybe the thing that smokers can use. And they put it to their throat and it speaks. Maybe change into uh, <laughs> a voice a bit more like this. <laughs> so, a linguaphone slash tracheoptomy. You can just put an accent in. <laughs> Bonjour. That's good. <laughs> and they boo and cigarettes. That's good. <laughs> from Connery to Roger Moore in one go. Amazing. <laughs> David, have you got any ideas for, that you'd like to pitch to the dragon? We've got him here, no, we may as well. He doesn't like Dragon's Den. He think. doesn't like Dragon's no. Den? He said oh. it before, yeah. No, I, I have said it, but I wasn't going to bring it up here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it shouldn't be allowed. I just prefer Inspector Morse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Duncan has got... OK, you've got a question for us. OK, here is your business-related <clears throat> question. Go on. So, I'm often asked about innovations, if they're going to be any good or if they're going to bomb. Now, the great entrepreneur, the Lord Alan Sugar, was asked about an invention in February 2005. And he says it'll be dead, finished, kaput, gone, within a year. What was that invention? Was it a thesaurus? No. Oh. <laughs> OK, so Duncan asked the question, what did Alan Sugar say would be finished, gone, kaput within a year? What, do, what have you got? Uh, the year 2005 calendar. Sarah <laughs> 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 and David, what you going for? We thought it might be Twitter. Ah. Well, he's made up for it since he's always on there, isn't he? I think. <laughs> Richard, no, what did you say? We put MySpace and Facebook, so we couldn't remember it as one of them. We went for both. I think it's MySpace. 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 I think MySpace. MySpace book. My, what someone's nana would call the internet. MySpace book. <laughs> <laughs> OK, oh, well, tell us the answer. What was the answer? <coughs> the answer was the iPod. Ah. <sighs> so no one gets any points. But Sir Alan Sugar, the great Sir Alan Sugar, got it wrong and thought that would be just be... That'll be gone. You can listen to what all I the mean, records it's... you own and carry it around. Oh, it's really nice. To be fair, most people use iPhones rather than iPods now. Where it... and so maybe he was right. Whereas the Amstrad emailer is as successful now as it ever was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see what that's done to the scores. Okay. Kevin and Alan have nine points. Sarah and David are in the lead with ten points, and Richard and Noel have two points. But we had two ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> Another short break now. Just enough time for me to pitch my amazing new invention to Duncan. It's an app that lets you announce to your friends and family that you're gay. Interested? Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping he would say, I'm out, and I'd say, that's no good for you, but that has not worked. <laughs> See you after the break. Uh, next up, I asked you what unassuming project raised over $55,000 on Kickstarter. What did you all think? Well, I didn't like this one. Okay. We, we didn't have a clue, so Mel kept saying she wants a glass of wine, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to ask. <laughs> Can Mel have a wine? <laughs> yeah. So what did you get, David, Richard? Uh, it's already crossed out on the thing, so I mean... <laughs> I don't know, you read it out. I mean, I'm tired, I'm depressed, I'm... we're completely demoralised. <laughs> So you put a, a foot pedal operated cake bin? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kevin, Sarah, what did you get? Uh, potato salad. That's the right answer. How much did he raise? He raised $55,000 for a potato salad. Uh, he used the money to hold a festival called Potato Stock 2014 with <laughs> bands, food, and potato salad, of course, to raise money for charity in the end. He thought he'd do something good with it. So, uh, Russell and Jonathan. He uh, strapped his hound to a car. That's what he did. He, he did what? It's, he's, it's, it's a dog. beautiful phrase. Yeah. Yes, it's nice, isn't it? He, he, um, he Dogging, attached... No, no, no. He attached his dog to the roof of his car for a ten-hour car journey. And so I was slightly mesmerised when you did that. We got the full gun oh, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. And he said, and he said his excuse... <laughs> it's all in now, like, oh, oh, His excuse was... You can't, be, you can't wear that T-shirt. Give us a slight glimpse at the, what the gun show looks like, <laughs> and never let us get a full get us get a full let's glimpse. Just get it out the way. Do just it. Show everyone oh, what they it. want to see, and then right, we can move do on. It. Come on, let's see. Let's see the right arm first. Who wants to do it? No, 
Oh, because what's going to happen? No, 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 no. Because no, 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 I'll tell you what's happening now, right? So this is happening now on telly, but I'm imagining myself at home with my family, with my dad set there, going, fucking don't. <laughs> and my mum. Go on, do it, do it for the girls. <laughs> and my granddad just go and kill me. So I'm, <laughs> I'm okay. going to do it. <laughs> You'll notice we, we we didn't participate in what was that was bullying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's call it out. I'm not going to look at them. It was bullying. <laughs> okay. I don't see how it's bullying to say, "Can we have a look at your impressive biceps, please?" <laughs> you know what you did. <laughs> I am very anti-bullying. I bought one of those anti-bullying charity wristbands. <laughs> Instantly, I let someone down in school over a similar incident when I was eight, and I'm fucked if I'm letting this happen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, Rich. Huh? No, no. <laughs> because he didn't want to see him. A consensual gun show. A consensual gun show. We're trying to get close. 